Hi friends, welcome to Oracle Programming Channel. In the third, fourth and fifth lesson of Oracle for Beginners, I told you about relation between tables in the relational database. The links for those tutorials are in the description below. As a first step towards learning Oracle, today I am going to tell you about SQL Plus and SQL Plus commands. This is part one of the three parts in the series of understanding basic SQL Plus commands. SQL Plus is the default interface of Oracle for communicating with the Oracle database. It's a character based interface, meaning you cannot see images, videos and graphics in this interface. This interface comes with every Oracle installation. No separate download is required. So every Oracle programmer should know how to use this interface. To start SQL Plus, go to run command by pressing Windows plus R button, type SQL Plus and press enter. SQL Plus will prompt you for username and once you type the username, then it will prompt you for the password. Here I have mentioned two different ways of login. Number one is type the username and then press enter and then type the password. As we saw sometimes back, remember the password is always case sensitive. The username is not case sensitive. So I type the username, I type the password. In this case, the password will be hidden. Once you are logged in, SQL Plus will display the version detail of Oracle database. Number two is you type the username and put a forward slash and then type the password. In this case, the password is visible. I will show you how it looks. I will open a new SQL Plus session. I'll type the username. As you can see, after forward slash, whatever I type is visible. So it's not a good idea when you are working in an office or you have people around you to use this method of login. Nevertheless, I will show you how it works. I type the password now and press enter and I'm connected to Oracle database. But it is better not to make your password visible. Stick to method number one. By default, you get this SQL greater than symbol as an SQL prompt. It's a good practice to know what username is active in the current session of SQL Plus and to put that username in the SQL prompt so that it is always in front of you. As you saw sometimes back, I opened two sessions of SQL Plus and chose usernames. It could have been different usernames and both are currently running. To identify each session by its user, I should have the username in the SQL prompt. To get the current username, SQL Plus command is show user or SHO user. SHO is the short for show. So I type SHO user and I get user is test. Well, I change the username sometimes back. And in another session, the user is Tom. To change the default SQL prompt, type set SQL prompt as it is and a prompt name of your choice. In all my tutorials, the same color scheme is maintained. Red texts are Oracle keywords should be typed as they are displayed here. And the blue ones are your input. For SQL plus commands, no semicolon at the end of the command is required, unlike SQL and PLSQL commands. So I type set SQL prompt and I keep it to the current username that is Tom and I also keep the greater than symbol press enter. So that becomes the SQL prompt. Similarly, in the other session of SQL plus, I set SQL prompt to the current user that is test. And so this becomes the SQL prompt. There is another method of changing the SQL prompt. In glogin.sql file, type set SQL prompt within single quote ampersand prompt name. Where to find glogin.sql file? Go to the drive where you install Oracle. There you will get a folder by the version number of Oracle installed. The location of this folder in your machine may be a little different. So from version number folder, go to server and then go to SQL plus and then admin. There you find glogin.sql file. Glogin.sql file is a site profile script where you can set SQL plus environment variables. Every time you log into Oracle database using SQL plus, this script is executed. I have already typed the command. I will uncomment and save. Now, when I launch another session of SQL plus, as I log in, SQL plus will prompt me for my SQL prompt. I will keep it to username. So this second method will always prompt you for a 
SQL prompt of your choice whenever you start SQL Plus. You can follow either of these methods to keep your username always displayed in the SQL Plus. Next, page size and line size format. To change the new page, page size and line size, the syntax is very simple for these settings. It's set new page or new P number. New page or new P should be typed as it is and a number of your choice. For page size, set page size a number. For line size, set line size or line or LIN and a number. First, let me explain you what is new page and page size. I will run a query that will give us a few pages. New page is the number of rows that we get at the beginning of a page. That is the top part of the page. Default is one row. Page size is the total number of rows in a page. Default is 14 rows. So in a page with default value, we get 14 rows for page size. That includes one row for the new page, one row for the header and one row for the underline and 11 rows of data. If we increase the value of new page, then the number of data will reduce considering the page size is set to 14. For example, if I set new page to 4, that will be set new p4, clear the screen, rerun the query, you will get 14, that is the page size value, minus 4 for new page, minus 1 row for the header and 1 row for underline equal to 8 rows of data. 14 minus 4 minus 1 minus 1, that is 8 rows of data. So leave new page to its default value and set the page size to comfortable size that fits in your screen and gives you maximum rows of data. In this case, reset new page to its default value 1. We should set page size to 25 to run this query. Now you see the difference. We get more rows of data in a page. Next is line size. Line size is the number of characters or digits in a row that is displayed by SQL Plus. Default is 80. So it can accommodate 80 characters or digits including blank spaces. I'll take this table to show you how this works. Now I will change the line size and see how that affects the display. The command is set line size or line or LIN and a number. So I'll type set LIN 10. The default is 80. I'm setting it to 10. I will execute the same query again. The line crops words after 10 characters, including blank spaces. So you should take it to a comfortable length that fits your screen size and text can be read comfortably. This will depend on the text that you want to display and the width of the column. Remember, all these settings will affect the session of SQL Plus where you are running these commands. Other sessions of SQL Plus will remain unaffected. I will set it back to 80. That will be set LIN 80. That's it. To display large numbers, type set num width on num and then a number of your choice. Set num width should be typed as it is and number should be a number that you think will fit your requirement. The default value is 10. I will query this table. As you can see, the second number is not displayed properly because the width of this number data type column or numeric data type column is 10. That is the default value. Now, I will set it to a higher number that will be set num 14. And then as I execute, I get all the numbers. You can see the difference. This will set the width of all numeric data type columns to 14 digits in this session of SQL Plus. Meaning, if I go to this session of SQL Plus and run the same query, the result will be same as we experienced before setting the line size to 14. What we are doing here is to set the display, not the data. To format numeric data type column, type set num format and then you put number of nines with a decimal and then Put the nines for the number of decimal places you need. Num format variable sets the way all numeric data type columns are displayed by SQL Plus in a session. First, we'll run the query for a table to see how the number is being displayed in this table, and then we'll see the change after setting the num format. That is, select or from num test. This is the way numbers are displayed for this table. Now we will run the set num format command to see how the numbers will be displayed afterwards. Set num format 
And then you run the query again and you see the difference. This will set the format for this session. I have been using this word session many times in this tutorial. I will tell you about the Oracle session in a future tutorial. Before you type this num format, make sure your format can accommodate all numeric data type columns that you want to display in this session of SQL Plus, such as this one. Select star from num test three. The second line doesn't display properly. So num format should be changed to set num format. You can use the thousand separator. You can use the thousand separator as a comma and two digits for the decimal places and then run the same query. You get everything. It sets it all right. Column format. To format a specific numeric data type column, use the command column of call, then the column name of the table, then format, type it as it is. And then the format that you want to give as nines. For example, I will set format for a specific numeric data type column. This command will change the number format of all the columns with the same name and the same data type. That is numeric data type. This is the table. Now to change the format of this particular column called balance, I will use call column name that is balance format thousand separator. I'm going to put four decimal places and then I run the query and this is what I get. Another table I will check four decimal places. So this is how we set the number format of a particular column. SQL plus will identify the column by its name and the data type. So in this table and in this table, the column names are same. So the formatting that I did for this particular column balance, it set the format for other columns also that has the name balance and the data type is numeric. To set the display size of a character data type column, type column or call, then the column name of the table and format and then A, then a number. Column or call should be typed as it is. Column name should be the name of the column that you want to format and then type format as it is and then A and a number as per your requirement. Please remember there is no space between A and the number. We will take this table for our testing. So you can change the format of this column by typing call. Column name is name format A10. Run the query and see. The difference between line size and column format is column format will set the format of this specific column called name for this session of SQL plus and line size will set the line size of all the columns for a particular session of SQL plus irrespective of the column name. To stop long output of a query, sometimes we have a query that gives a long result many rows and we are in need to stop it. To stop the output, press Control C, Control plus C. I'll show you how. This is the table we are going to query and it will give us a long output. As you can see, it's running. So in order to stop it, I'll just press Control and C. It stops. To edit a query, type edit or add. Because of wrong typing, we have to retype the query or you want to add a condition to the query, we can use this facility. It opens a notepad and then you can make changes and save and rerun the query. I'll show you how. I'll choose the same table that gave me a long output. Stop the output and then type add. It will open a notepad and I will change the query here. Add a condition. Row number is less than 10. I run it again. So I get only 9 rows. So that is how we can use this edit facility that you will be using in future to change your query to suit your requirement. That's all for this session. Please leave your comments in the comment section. Your comments are really valuable to me. I hope you like this video. If you did, then please like, share and subscribe. And please don't forget to press the bell icon to get notifications of all my future tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching.